Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Morbid Manuscripts of Hasse Manor Holly never imagined that her dream job as a librarian would lead her to the depths of terror. The Isle of Wight seemed like the perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of city life and the opportunity to work at the historic Hasley Manor Library only added to its allure. Nestled among the rolling hills and dense forests, Hasley Manor stood as a timeless monument to a bygone era. On her first day, Holly was greeted by the musty scent of aged parchment and the eerie silence that seemed to permeate every corner of the library. Her curiosity piqued, she immersed herself in the task of cataloging the vast collection of books, eager to uncover the secrets hidden within their pages. But it wasn't long before Holly stumbled upon something that sent shivers down her spine. Tucked away in a forgotten alcove, behind a crumbling wall, she discovered a cache of manuscripts unlike anything she had ever seen before. The pages were yellowed with age, and the ink seemed to pulse with a sinister energy. Ignoring the warning signs, Holly delved into the texts, eager to unravel their mysteries. But with each passing day, she felt a creeping sense of unease settle over her. Shadows seemed to dance at the edge of her vision, and strange whispers echoed through the halls of the manor. As Holly dug deeper into the manuscripts, she unwittingly unleashed a malevolent presence that had been trapped within the walls of the ancient manor for centuries. It began with subtle disturbances, books flying off shelves, strange symbols appearing on the walls but soon escalated into full-blown horror. Night after night, Holly was plagued by nightmares of unspeakable horrors, each more vivid and terrifying than the last. She tried to convince herself that it was just her imagination running wild, but deep down, she knew the truth something dark and malevolent had been awakened, and it hungered for her soul. Desperate for answers, Holly turned to the only person who might understand the enigmatic caretaker of Hasley Manor, an elderly man named Mr. Blackwood. With a haunted look in his eyes, he revealed the tragic history of the manor and the dark secrets that lay buried beneath its foundations. Centuries ago, Hasley Manor had been home to a reclusive nobleman named Lord Mortimer Hasley, a man obsessed with the occult. In his quest for immortality, Lord Hasley had dabbled in dark magic, performing unspeakable rituals in the depths of the manor. But his experiments had unleashed a malevolent force that consumed him and his entire household, leaving the manor cursed for all eternity. Now, Holly found herself in a race against time to break the curse and save her soul from the clutches of the ancient evil that lurked within the shadows. With Mr. Blackwood's help, she delved deeper into the mysteries of the manuscripts, uncovering long-forgotten spells and incantations that held the key to defeating the darkness. But as they drew closer to the truth, Holly realized that the price of victory might be higher than she ever imagined. With each step closer to unraveling the curse, the malevolent presence grew stronger, its sinister influence seeping into every corner of the manor. In a final, desperate gambit, Holly and Mr. Blackwood ventured into the heart of the manor where the darkness lay deepest. Armed with ancient knowledge and sheer determination, they confronted the evil that lurked within, facing horrors beyond comprehension. In the end, it was Holly's courage and resilience that saved the day. With a final incantation, she banished the malevolent presence back into the depths of the earth, breaking the curse that had plagued Hasley Manor for centuries. As dawn broke over the Isle of Wight, Holly emerged from the darkness, battered but triumphant. The morbid manuscripts of Hasley Manor had been sealed away once more, their secrets safe from prying eyes. But as she looked out over the tranquil landscape, Holly couldn't shake the feeling that the darkness had not been vanquished entirely and that somewhere, in the shadows, it waited, biding its time until it could rise again. With the curse lifted, life at Hasley Manor returned to a semblance of normalcy. The whispers that once haunted the halls fell silent, and the shadows no longer seemed to dance with malevolent intent. Yet, despite the facade of peace, Holly couldn't shake the feeling of unease that lingered in the air. As weeks turned into months, the memory of the horrors she had faced began to fade, replaced by the comforting routine of her work. But just when she thought she had left the darkness behind, strange occurrences began to plague the manor once more. Books went missing from the shelves, their pages torn and scattered across the library floor. Strange symbols appeared on the walls, seemingly etched into the very fabric of the manor itself. 
and in the dead of night Holly would awaken to find herself paralyzed with fear, the echoes of her nightmares still fresh in her mind. Desperate for answers, Holly turned to Mr. Blackwood once more, hoping that he might shed some light on the mysteries that played Tassu Manor. But the old caretaker's eyes were clouded with sorrow, and he offered no solace, only a cryptic warning to tread carefully. Determined to uncover the truth, Holly delved deeper into the history of the manor, scouring ancient texts and forgotten archives for any clue that might explain the strange happenings. But the more she searched, the more elusive the answers became, slipping through her fingers like grains of sand. As the veil between the world of the living and the realm of the dead grew thinner, Holly found herself haunted by visions of a dark figure that lurked in the shadows, its eyes burning with an otherworldly hunger. She knew then that the evil she had thought banished had never truly left Hasley Manor, it had merely lain dormant, waiting for the opportune moment to strike. With each passing day, Holly's grip on reality began to slip, her mind consumed by the darkness that threatened to engulf her. But even in the depths of despair, a glimmer of hope remained a flickering candle in the darkness that refused to be extinguished. Armed with newfound determination, Holly vowed to confront the evil that lurked within Hassi Manor once and for all, to banish it from this world and reclaim the peace that had been stolen from her. With Mr. Blackwood at her side, she ventured into the heart of the manor where the darkness lay thickest, prepared to face whatever horrors awaited her. In a final, desperate battle, Holly and Mr. Blackwood confronted the malevolent presence that had plagued Hassley Manor for centuries, wielding ancient magic against the darkness that threatened to consume them. With every incantation, they weakened the hold of the evil that lurked within, until at last, with a blinding flash of light, it was vanquished from this world forever. As the darkness receded, Hassey Manor stood bathed in the light of dawn, its walls once more filled with the warmth of life. And though scars remained both seen and unseen, Holly knew that she had emerged victorious, her courage and resilience shining bright against the shadows that sought to snuff them out. As she stood at the threshold of the manor, ready to leave the horrors of the past behind, Holly couldn't help but wonder when new adventures awaited her on the horizon. For though the darkness had been banished, she knew that the world was vast and full of mysteries yet to be uncovered, and she was ready to face them all, one page at a time. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like an even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you have had or have a great day.